Now, this is a bit of a weird setup, I suppose. Um, you can see there's, there's two corridors we've got to go down. Now, if we could have brought the bloody... <sighs> Dispul... Dis I can't even pronounce it. Displacer charges or whatever they are. How the hell do you not have line of fire there? I'm going to have to just shut up and stop whining. Okay. Fine. We'll just do what we can. Okay, blow that wall up if you can, Mr. Lobsterman Soldier. Never mind, there's not enough time units. Now this level, or this area of the level I should say, should actually be a little bit easier than the first, believe it or not. Because in this area, I don't think there's a single one. I don't think any aliens down here can actually use mind attacks. Okay, I thought that was going to be worse for me then, because Hernando took like a bloody missile to the face then. Nearly. Where's Alfredo? Go on, Alfredo. You're the only other one who's got a gun. Alfredo, <coughs> don't be scared. <coughs> now, is it a two layered place? This ah, it is okay. Ah, but the target isn't on the second floor because the second floor is just like for show, really. Okay, so there must be some kind of area that leads down. Now, hold on a minute, where the hell did I put that lobster man? I forgot where I put that lobster man. Oh well. Oh. Oh, there he is. I knew I ain't got to let him get far. Having only one lobster man on defence does seem rather stupid, but... I 
I have not got a clue if I'm going the right way. Ah, now there's one moving. Good. A Zar Squid. Melanie, you probably won't be strong enough to take that over. Marcel probably won't be. Emilio might be. Nope. Mallory, you have a go. Alright then, Matthew have a go. Damn it. If Rodrigo can't take it, then that thing can't be mind controlled. Oh, and it can. Now, the funny thing is, this is one of those very, very weird aliens where it can actually shoot at itself, which is a very, very weird phenomenon. Like so. See, it actually returned fire on itself then. I don't know if you saw that. It was actually fighting itself then. Because it's a four block enemy, each of the blocks is actually independent. I know that sounds really damn stupid, and it is. Um, but I love it. I think it's funny. Alright, Uta. Take him back over again. Oh, that's awesome, man. He killed himself. You stupid Zarquid. Zarquid, even. I just realised this other tank was in a weird area. Ooh, the tank's already at the exit, practically. What the hell? Can we see another alien there? What the goddamn? There's kind of an alien there, but... What the hell? It's not selectable, though. Hmm. Don't know if that is a bug. Strange. That is so strange, that little bit down there, folks. But looking at it, that is obviously the exit. Now, if that is all the defence they've got for it... I was saying that, how do you get through to that area? So you've got to go along there... Hmm. <clears throat> Curiouser and curious. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now that was scary, because that was a tenter. Okay, we found a tentacle. Which, if we can take over with Rodrigo. Lovely! Now we've got a very nice little scouter. What the hell is that thing there? That just looks weird. Now look at this for a trek. We have somehow. I have a feeling that the right way to get down to that exit area is probably... This mission is going to be huge. I'm going to leave Alfredo there. This map just seems absolutely devoid of life, which is scary, because where is everyone? Okay, so that's definitely a dead end. Hmm, I don't know how to do this, folks. The aliens aren't really wanting to attack either. Aha! Hello, you. What are you doing hiding behind there? This place is such a bloody maze. Aha, but... How the hell do I get... Right, whatever happens, we need to get... into this area here. Now... I, th I don't get the layout of this level, folks. What's so fuzzing ever? I'll see you in the next video, folks.